He's gonna grab my pet lamp. Both, can it? There he is. There he is. And now, can it? Why you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Tell us. You know, we want to know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair. Huh? All right. So, but this case over here, some think that my indicator, right? So it's gonna be right on a canine's collarbone. That is that. Not too deep on this one. Enough. When I get my indicator over here, right on the collarbone, okay, I know I'm in the right spot. Okay, I'm gonna leave here. And I know that that's gonna be a fight over here. Kenny's gonna try to do the bullfighter pass. Go ahead, Kenny, one side. I'm gonna lift it. And I, remember one thing I have my left hand on the mat. If I do have my left hand on the mat, it's hard for him to pass. Even though, what if like, you know, he pushed you like so hard to the side and he passed it away. See, he has to see the drag. And I didn't drag that hard because I'm glad, you know, Kenny, thanks son. He let it go and then he pulls his head on the mat. Otherwise you will land on his head. So again, because he forced a little bit, okay, so I'm gonna drag him. But in this case over here, go back Kenny, please. Just for you guys to understand that we have the drag. Again, indicator, okay, I felt it. If he grabs my pet leg. No problem. He goes to one side. The other way, please, Kennedy. I close the door. I say no. And I keep, even though my leg is up, if he pushes, remember again, I'm gonna drag him. When I post my foot on the mat, he's gone to my right side. Yeah, you'll be gone to my right side. So, when he tries, go ahead. One, two, three, he can't do it. He's gonna come to the other side. Go ahead, Kennedy. And when he comes, he wanna drop. There we go, and pass this way. So when he comes to the side, I'm gonna loop his head. As I loop his head, what I'm going to do now here, I do the loop choke, my arm goes all the way across, and my head has to be underneath of Kennedy. All right, so one more time. So we practice. So one side, one, two, three. He comes to the side. Go ahead, put the pressure, put the pressure. I loop over. The more pressure Kenny puts over me, the easier it's gonna be for me to loop choke him, okay? So I get my shoulder on his back, left hand travels all the way through. But one thing over here, my head has to go underneath of Kennedy. If my head is here, he's going to crush my head. So my head should be under. Now I can roll him. Pit stop over here. Now I'm gonna start walking towards his legs and pull. So now, second one, my arm gonna go under his head, just like so. Scissor the legs. Up, I'm gonna let it go here. All right, so we don't let it go, right? So I'm gonna scissor the legs, and I'm going to pull him, look at this. And I'm pushing his head away, I'm pulling. And, I mean, before I do this, you know, this pull, this much pull, you'll be tapping. All right, so let's, let's take a look on it one more time. So, yeah, the indicator around the collarbone, he grabs the pent leg. He goes to one side. I say no, right? He goes to the side, putting a lot of pressure. I, that is, I love him. And the one thing here, I want you guys to understand, go back in for a second, please. So when Ken is coming to this side over here, uh, just, uh, just start sloking it, go ahead, put pressure. Look at my arm, I'm pushing. I'm saying no, 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 push, push. Okay, come Kennedy. All right, there you go. <laughs> I'm go on there. That's it, boom, break the grip. Now I start walking towards his legs. Kennedy didn't tap. He didn't tap because he's following me. Follow me, Kennedy. Okay, he's following me. Okay, stop right here for a second. Now I gotta get under his arm, under the head. Now I'm gonna scissor the leg. It has to be this way. If I come up this way, it's harder. No, belly down. Okay, from here now, I'm pushing with my left arm and I'm pulling with my right arm. Where's me? 